out because he, he, he wants to have his own space. He has to watch younger kids and he kind of sighs. Why can't a teenager be a teenager? <laughs> Super Nanny, we could really use you in our household. What's supposed to be on it? We just like some order. <laughs> Super Nanny, please hurry. We have 10 kids, and we really need your help. <sighs> enough is enough. Hang on in there, Mom and Dad. And hey, kids, I'm on my way. Well, hi. Hello. How are you hey, doing? Good to meet you. I'm Dale. Hi. Come on in. Thank you. <laughs> That's my wife, Amy. Hello. Hi, Amy. Hi. Good to Hi. meet you. Hi. This Hello. is the biggest family that I've ever helped, and oh yeah, it's going to be an adventure. Well, this is a very large family, to say the least. <laughs> to have Joe come into my house and observe us it was a little bit unnerving because, of course, nobody ever wants criticism. So you know, we all think we're perfect. You don't need a hit, Chaslin. No, we just get away from her. Stop. Quit it. No. Typically, Dad being a truck driver means that he's only home a few days a week. But from what I can see, when he is home, he's not very supportive. He doesn't do much. Guys, can you stop that? Yeah. <laughs> I think the kids have lost some respect in listening to him or obeying him when he's home. Why don't you go stand in the corner? Yeah. Yes. I don't think he knows how to handle the kids, and, and they don't listen to him as much as my mom. Let's go. Then my dad leaves somewhere, like not the house, but he's always somewhere else, like outside in the garage. It seems to me that mom's just given up asking dad to help out with the kids. Why don't you feel like you can put this one down and take him over there? Um, because it ends up with a fight in there between my key and Bryson or whatever, so I'll end up just taking him back anyways. Well, why can't Dale deal with it? He, he, I, I, sometimes I just don't think he, I just don't think he does deal with it. But there is another family member that she relies on to help her. I saw that Logan was given the task to look after the kids with mum. I mean, he is Mr. Mum. We're gonna be gone for a little bit. Logan is in charge. In submission, I had seen that Logan helps out a lot with the kids. So what I did was send mum and dad out so I could see exactly how Logan manages those kids. Cameron, no, you cannot have the bubbles. No, you're silly. He gets kind of frustrated when the kids are misbehaving when mom and dad are out. Get out of the office. I don't really enjoy watching over that many kids at one time. It's just too stressful, yeah. it's too chaotic. Corbin? Corbin? <laughs> Shazlin and... Get out. Corbin? Corbin? Stop. Stop. How about you? Try. Corbin, just, just go. Why don't you go upstairs? By the time Mum and Dad got back, Logan was absolutely numb from having to take care of those kids. He's stressed out. I was really eager to talk to Logan, and so I had a conversation with him that really spoke volumes. You're, you're like a like a, a manny, a nanny. Yeah. Okay, so so when does Logan get to uh, hang out with his buddies and just chill? Not very often. Really. This 15-year-old doesn't get a chance to be a 15-year-old and hang out with his friends. So he is robbed of his teenage years at the moment. He's got to be raising his siblings. Do you feel like it's your responsibility? No. I mean, they're not my kids. I mean, they're my brothers, but they're not my kids. It's, I'm, I'm, not the, I'm not a parent. It's not my responsibility to discipline them, to be watching them. Do you actually say to them, or do you feel like you can't? Or... It's my parents. I, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I feel like I can say that. I mean, it's kind of like I've kind of stepped it in there a little bit. And my mom just kind of blows at me, just kind of, I mean, she really gets mad, like, you know, it's your responsibility as the oldest. It's too much. Sometimes to the point where it's like, uh, you know, I've gotten sick over it. Where you live with migraines, panic attacks, I mean, what do you... What do you uh, I've had one panic attack before. Yeah. For a 15-year-old child to have this because the burden of the responsibility they're given at such a young age, 
to, to me is is just not right. I do have thoughts like I gotta find somewhere else to go. You know, I'm I'm out of here because I shouldn't be living a life like this. Coming up on Super Nanny. When things go wrong, mom blames the kids. There they stand. Someone just got hurt. <laughs> And Joe has harsh words for both parents. Right now, you're in cuckoo land, the pair of you. When Super Nanny returns. <laughs>